Multifocal atrial tachycardia Multifocal atrial tachycardia A rapid, irregular atrial rhythm arising from multiple ectopic foci within the atria. It occurs when too many signals, electrical impulses, are sent from the atria to the ventricles. On the ECG, each P wave looks different because they originate from different atrial sources. Normally, the sinoatrial node, SA node, helps control the heartbeat, therefore, it is considered the heart's natural pacemaker. When the heart detects a signal, it contracts, or beats. The normal heart rate in adults is about 60 to 100 beats per minute. It is faster in children. Many locations in the atria fire signals at the same time, that lead to a rapid heart rate. It most often ranges between 100 to 130 beats per minute or more in adults. When the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute, it is called wandering atrial pacemaker. The rapid heart rate causes the heart to work too hard but not moving the blood efficiently, because there is not enough time for the heart to fill with the blood between beats. Comparison Atrial fibrillation Erratic atrial depolarization Erratic baseline Irregular RR Intervals Multifocal atrial tachycardia Multiple atrial focus At least three different P wave Morphologies, irregular RR intervals, atrial flutter, macroreentry circuit, sawtooth, baseline, regular atrial activity, resembling P waves, at about 300 BPM, regular RR intervals, focal atrial, tachycardia, single atrial focus, or microreentry circuit, P waves with same morphology, regular RR intervals. There is no thromboembolism risk in multifocal atrial tachycardia, such as seen in atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter, as the atrium are contractile in multifocal atrial tachycardia. Symptoms Shortness of breath, chest tightness, lightheadedness, fainting, palpitations. Weight loss Failure to thrive in infants. Risk factors, it is most commonly seen in males over 50 years old with conditions that lower the amount of oxygen in blood such as chronic lung disease, e.g. chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, acute respiratory failure, pneumonia, sepsis, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, diabetes, chronic kidney failure, theophylline overdose. Treatment. For hypoxemia. An inhaler for asthma. In severe cases, oxygen therapy. For tachycardia. Drugs to slow the heart rate such as calcium channel blockers, e.g. verapamil. Diltiazem, or beta blockers. For heart patients taking diuretics, magnesium or potassium. Intravenously. They replace the electrolytes lost by diuretics. For theophylline overdose, stop taking it.